Welcome back. My name is Maligan and this is Xenonauts X Division. Last episode we shot down a bomber and we are in that mission right now against Androns. We have destroyed a small flying disc, we destroyed a normal Andron, we destroyed those super Androns twice. We damaged the medium flying disc for like 30 damage. And that is where we are. So let's continue. Try. But no hits. We tried um, corrosive. Didn't really do much. So. There's that. We're going to run over here. Now the good part is that our sniper have a pretty good way on attacking. Now not all their shots are going to hit. Bam. We are getting some ballistic damage in. We still have to work on that laser defense. Okay, there we are. Cool. We are getting damage. Damage is done. You reload. Uh, you had a big problem. Because there was a guy up here in the window. I don't want to move you. As long as I don't have any backup. You just go and produce a smoke screen. It seems that he is trying to not attack into the smoke screen. Maybe he really can't hit inside the smoke screen. He's going for David Rice. Oh, he's back. One of the end runs. Now you. Just go and try. More damage. Okay, not much left. And he should be dead. Okay, good damage. There we go, he's down. One of them gone. Shooting in the general direction. Of an enemy. You can see him, okay. Now we don't need to go around with the stun button because it doesn't do anything. Uh, the stun button normally has 35 EMP damage, at least it did show that it should have that. Sadly, it did not have that. Or oh, the Enron didn't care. One of the two. So normally there is a guy up there. So I'm going to try to draw him out. Because my sniper need a target. So here we go. Sniper 1, Sniper 2, and Rocket Launcher can move across. Okay, we see an enemy. Inside the building, okay. So what we can do, we could try this again. Still resisting. Okay, missing the tank. So I can only guess that they are affected by smoke. I have no real way to prove that. Good. Some damage. I'm trying to go for some damage. Okay, one down. Um... 
you can try to hit him. Some little damage. He's down. You go for the one piece of cover in this area. Tank running around. Hide behind the building. Heavy machine gun moves up. There's a bunch of way to a bunch of map to go still. Now we destroyed one medium disc. But I have the feeling there are two flying discs. Medium ones. In the map. Okay, there's the ship. Good. Good that I found that. No one in here. So we know where the entrance is. So this area is not important. Not as important at least. Uh, rocket here. You can use explosives. That is the only thing you can use. Everything else is useless, literally. Let me save. Boop. Okay. Rolling around. Trying to... Okay, we found an enemy. On top of the... Roof. Sniper arm position. Good. Put him down. Good, he's dead. Doesn't mean that there is not another one. But we killed one of them. Okay. Running across. Not seeing much. Okay, you stay here. We move you up. We move you up here. There could still be small flying disc. They are obnoxious too. You should reload. So you have enough shots to be fired. You run across. No one was in here. No one opens the door. Nothing of the sort. Interesting. Both snipers stay. Okay. Naturally, aliens inside the ship. We are going to... We are trying to figure out if there is... Another enemy. Okay. We got shot up here. But the chance is that, that, that it was this guy that we killed. Those doors are not even opened. Okay. We have a big problem here. This area is really bad to fight in. You will reload, nice. Can't even run all the way across. Because there's not much room in front, we can't use our sniper method. Speaking of snipers, they are going to move across. At least I can shoot down here for people that are going to move out. We're going to move inside. Okay. Last but not least, uh, you run across here. As I said, there could still be a disc inside, who knows. My tank still has some time units. So you are going to roll around. 
Okay. Two small discs inside. So we have those accounted for. Seems mostly safe on this side. Can take a look. Yeah. Seems good. Move you across. Move you into the transformer field. Uh, you need to prime this for three rounds. Not for two. For three. There could be... Oh no, this is not a good idea. You can be shot through there. That is a bad idea. Now, it could be that he, she's going to get attacked again and gets suppressed. So I don't want her to blow up just because we can't drop the explosive. At least that would be pretty bad. Okay, everyone else. Suppressed again. Panicked. She's the only one with a shield. Still has two turns. So we are going to try the smoke again. Hope that this works. In the meantime, we're going to drive around with the tank. So he's going for the tank. Okay. Destroying walls. What? He just... Okay. Now my goal is the shift. She was able, or uh, is now able to throw the explosive. An okay position. We destroyed one of the flying discs. We're going to retreat a bit. So we are not getting caught in the explosive. Okay, we got that, that, that. You run over here. Okay. Let's see. Okay, going for the tank. Doors not open. Sadly, I can't really go there with my tank. Um, should have checked that before. Now what? We are going to drop the shield. Going for this one. Uh, we are going for smoke. Bam. We are going for another smoke over here. They seem to be affected by smokes. So why not utilize them? So let's see. Let's draw one over here too. Because I have the feeling he's flying over here to try and attack. So I'm turn. There he is. Nice. I mean, we have less accuracy too, but it's a machine gun. If you fire point blank, you are going to hit and something. So we are going to try to get our tank over here. And he can just take a look inside. See what is going on. What do we have to fight? 
No reason to risk any soldiers. Okay, there is a door. Just right the door. Now what we can do... We can deploy a smoke which could draw out an enemy or two. Because the AI is thinking, hey, we can just go out and cover up smoke. Hmm, doesn't seem like they are willing to. Maybe if we close in on the side. No reaction. Okay, this is no full cover. Okay. We're getting you over here. Not even crossing that area, huh? We have a corporal. He can just... What? Probably not the best idea. Let the lieutenant go and take a look. Yeah, one is, okay. Reaction shots, good, some damage. Progress. You have those grenades, okay. Just try to... No. Okay. Not gonna do that again. Okay, we have two. He tried to do stuff. Uh, we are going to destroy this piece of wall. Because that allows us to have someone else do some reaction too. There we go. Two guys that do reaction shots. Let's take a look. Okay. Don't see much. Okay, I don't want to overextend. Okay. I return a little bit more vision. Okay, something moved. He's there. Can I move back now? But one shot. <laughs> And go back. No reason to rush. I have time. Okay, he probably hides here. Reactions. Come on. There we go. We got some damage in. You have enough for one extra. Let's see if you can kill him. He did not leave. Okay. We got him. And that was it. Okay, we didn't lose anyone. Only one medium disc, which is interesting. Let's see, Major Mayonis Holmgren got a medal for 10 kills. Captain David Rice got a medal for 5 kills. Zachary White got a medal for 5 kills. 10 kills. Oh, 3 kills for David Rice. Interesting because David Rice never kills people, he just punches them unconscious. Normally. And we got a bunch of research. A and Bomber Corvette Data Core, Andron Corps, Andron Hub, 
heavy drone, light drone, medium. There was a heavy drone here. There was a heavy drone. And it died at the beginning. Nice. And ballistic cannon and minigun. So yeah. The alien heavy drone probably died. Name. So Andron guards. Let's see. Andron guard corps. Andron hub corps. A light drone wreckage. And alloys in. There's no. Wait. Light drone wreckage. We got one. So one of them is subtracted for research right off the get go. And the medium we fought. Now that was the heavy we fought, right? What was the medium? What did the medium look like? I don't really n remember. Was it a medium or heavy? I believe it was heavy. Doesn't matter. We destroyed it. So, suck on that. Got a bunch of research. We should have our stuff research. So we go get the cyber disk wreckage. We should have our thrusters researched. Directional thrust arrays. Which doesn't give us any new research, I guess. Now, what do we want to research? Uh, and run this assembly. This robot is fascinating, Commander. Study of its construction should help further our collective knowledge immensely. Even if we can't fully understand its electronics, its carapace alone could help lead to innovations in our body armor design. Shall we get started? Yes. That definitely. Uh, guard disassembly. Initial elimination of Enron plating has shown that it's not actually a metallic plate at all. Instead, it appears to be composed of dense fibers woven in a way we don't yet fully understand. We will re rectify that as soon as we start to work on this end run. The hub disassembly. This is very important, fine commander. Study of the unit circuitry should help us better understand alien electronics and communication. And on computers, now that we have analyzed the circuitry in Android units, I think we can start to make some progress on understanding how their computer systems work. This may even help us to upgrade our own lab equipment if we can successfully integrate them with our own infrastructure or perhaps create powered robots or suits on our own. Who knows what may be possible. Then we have the alien ballistic cannon. Do you feel lucky, Commander? Well, do you. Sorry, forgive my joke, which appears to have come right, gone right over your head in any case. Further analysis of this weapon should provide some ideas for making our own versions. As a minigun, this appears to be a very dangerous weapon to be on the wrong end of Commander. Standing its construction may enable us to incorporate similar principles into our own design. Um, I want to maybe get some power suits. That seems like a good idea to go for. So we can disassemble some stuff. Like this one. 25 times. Long term. Getting laser. Laser cannon for aircraft. Short range dogfight weapon. Now we are using the Mauser and fighter beam. So let's check. So damage is 6, damage is 10, but has 200 meter more range. Ammo capacity 94 and 600 RPM rounds per minute, not 15 degree. So let's see, um, this one can do 400 damage, this one can do 540 damage. And... Right? Yeah, has more range, fires faster, so we are getting the same amount of bullets out in the same time. Doing less damage, more range though. This one would be, this is a cannon, even more range. Uh, penetrating the main purpose is targeting bigger UFOs rather than small interceptor. We could check Gatling laser. 
Um, but no, aircraft cannons. They are really expensive. Could use them instead of the Mauser, though, right? Uh, aircraft cannons. Because this one has no range at all. Only 300 damage. It does shoot fast. But I do want to keep a little bit range. So yeah, we are probably going to get some of these four for now. Who knows what we need our alien alloys for in the future. Uh, new research. Do, do, do. Uh, minigun. So let's see. Can we get some more research? Heavy drone wreckage. So this was the heavy drone. So this is the light drone, yes. And this is the medium drone. Uh, look pretty similar. Uh, bomber covered, key information to what we are get from this one. Um, disassembling stuff. So we can, oh, we can't disassemble, we can't disassemble these because we don't have one. We use that. So we get less alien computer, but we get more weapon systems. Okay, fair. We could disassemble light round. It could be that we need those dense fibers in a bit. Illinium explosives. We can now make some Illinium explosive technology. Illinium grenade, heavy Illinium explosives. If we are successful, the enriched Illinium should enable us to create more powerful versions of our existing explosives. And utilizing this knowledge of alien base explosive, I believe we can upgrade our standard frack rocket to carry an Illinium payload instead. So should dramatically increase the damage cost to the target and its surrounding. One of those two will allow us to get better anti-plane uh, anti rockets. I hope it is that one. Probably not. Gatling lasers finished. That was fast. So we can equip... We have two Mauser here. Tripsy Gatling laser. Um, we can't relocate any planes. You have two Mauser. You have two Mauser. And no one has any place for items, right? No storage, yeah. Let's build storerooms. It will increase our upkeep. Should be good though. Okay. Uh, aim ballistic minigun. We have researched that. Oh, we can just disassemble those. Mm. Uh, go for heavy linium explosives. Having that going, uh, you go for Russia. Check for potential bases. Now that bases don't reduce your funding and your your relationship levels at the beginning, unless they get destroyed, uh, we can't really go around see. Hey, we got here minus 400 because no reason and then you know okay there's a base somewhere hidden can't use that trick now we have to go around try to find one which is not the easiest task okay law on fuel Research, how is it going? Come on. 
get a breakthrough massive very small medium very small small yeah okay um this is it for this episode i cannot deal with the terror mission right now terror missions are obnoxious i don't want to deal with them ever but okay we will have to see next time what we can do against those so stay tuned thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time